Hello and welcome to your fifth ear training video in this series and today we're going to be taking the skills that you've learnt in the first four lessons and seeing how we can put them to real practical musical use. So if you haven't worked through the first four lessons already then click on the link below this video, go back to the start and work through them because you need to do those to build up to what we're about to do today. I'm Matthew Smith, I'm the founder of Saxophone Studies. It's my great pleasure to present these videos for you. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon and then you'll hear every time I bring out a new video here. And if you have an overwhelming urge to support saxophone studies, then you can click on the buy me a coffee link below this video to buy me a coffee. In the previous lessons we've looked at a major scale and looked at a harmonic minor scale and we've looked at the intervals within those scales and practice playing them and practice imagining the sounds in our heads and getting used to what those notes and as I say the intervals what they sound like. Today I'm going to give you another kind of test really, a kind of quiz, a bit of a test. I'm going to play the beginning to a series of different tunes. There's going to be a few jazz standard tunes and a few classic pop tunes. And when I play these tunes, there's several things I'd like you to do. The first thing is just a bit of a quiz. Listen to me playing them and write down what all the tunes are. So just so you've got a list of what they are. The second thing I'd like you to do is then rewind the video and try to work out these tunes on your saxophone. All of the tunes that I play are going to be taken from a major scale and to make it a bit easier, I've put all of these tunes into the same key and that key for alto and baritone saxophones is a G major scale. And if you're playing soprano and tenor, you'll be playing a C major scale. So all of the tunes I play are taken from those scales. So when you're working out the notes, the notes will only be from those scales. There won't be any extra ones. A quick word of warning as well, only one of the tunes I play is actually starting on the root note of the scale. All of the others start on different notes somewhere else. So before you work these out, it's probably a good idea just to play the scale up and down to get the sound of it in your head, get tuned into it, and then have a go at working these out. For most people, that's probably a big enough task, but if you're really fancy pants and you find that really easy, once you've worked those tunes out, what you could then do is think about the numbers of the notes. So remember the scale can be assigned numbers, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, I should say, and assign the numbers to each of the notes of the tune. And then once you've done that, you can transpose it into a different key. So that's the third level that you could take this to if you're feeling really good about the exercises. Right, enough talking, I'm going to get playing. So here's the first of the tunes.
and that's all the tunes. How did you do? Do you think you got them right? Did you know what the tunes were? If you want to check that you did, there's a PDF below this video you can get to, just click on the link and I've written down what all these tunes are so you can check that you did actually know what they were. And that's it for me, I hope you've enjoyed this series. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and then you'll hear from me when I bring out new stuff here on YouTube. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.